Snowflakes for wear. Yeah. Roar. All those, uh, Law. Bad representatives. Yeah. You go hell. Yeah. Even the good ones, yeah, they was uh, either compromised before or they tried not to be anymore. What I'm saying is, there's going to be a lot of change in the next few years, even. But buckle up, buttercups. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Human representative is in the flat earth dome. Oh, yeah. Opportunity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And guess what? No, that second squad, that's stupid. And silly. Yeah. And I, I will always, always represent truth and justice. Forever. 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 Part Yesterday, two. 51 Democrats in the state legislature in Texas left Texas and flew to Washington, D.C. on private jets. They did this in order to deny the Texas legislature a quorum. And then they shut it down. They shut down the democratic process in their state by leaving Texas. They, in other words, violated their sworn duty to represent their voters, and they committed what amounted to an act of, yes, insurrection. Here's a picture of them on a charter bus to the private airfield, the FBO, as they say in private equity. Now, they may be smiling in the picture, but it's only to mask the pain inside. They may be drinking Miller Lite, but it's not in celebration. No, it's in solidarity with the campesinos and campesinas around the state of Texas, on whose behalf they were drinking those beers. The people who may not be actual citizens of the United States, who may not speak our language or follow our laws, but who still somehow have the God-given right to choose your government for you. And so with these slightly chunky revolutionary heroes. One Texas lawmaker, a childlike former teacher called James T why does it happen, Alex Caller? Why does it happen? Why are you the only one that will attend to, to that level, to that extent? Where are the young ones, huh? Where the young human will attend to? Now, supposedly, that you also say, you also said that there will be others. Others from where? Who? Well, I'm a good start, it seems. So I hope things actually get a lot better for humanity very soon very very soon because me and a lot of others probably are anticipating great change hey uh, i can't help but think or feel that we are being stunted uh, so our dna can be slowly taken from us over time we got a lot of proof on that apparently we need, we will be shown. Where we're going, whatever it is that we have to do, we will intuitively, intuitively be given that information and that knowledge. We probably already have that knowledge. It just hasn't been triggered yet. Those memories haven't been triggered yet. So we will know what to do. The ladies and gentlemen, humanity is a family. That's how all the other star nations see us anyway. They don't see race, they don't see color. They're diversity as well. <laughs> yeah, like dogs here, all sizes, Colors and shapes, <laughs> sir. You know, we, there are so many different cultures out there that couldn't be more different, and yet they're all the same. They all recognize each other as one race, a race of sentient beings living together, exploring, and learning in a multiple of different ways, but all searching and seeking the exact same thing. Humanity getting away from pillage ever since they were born. Peace, harmony, love, friendship, brotherhood, sisterhood. And that one principle, again. 